Hi guys, my name is Okoro Blessing in Kiroka. And I'm popularly known as Blessing CEO, your number one most controversial certified relationship therapist in Africa. How are you guys doing? It's 11.27 p.m. And um, I know you guys want me to talk about something. Don't worry, I have gist for you guys. So I'm gonna quickly read out a story. I got my phone here and I will read out a story to you guys. So somebody sent me a story and said, hello, blessing CEO, I'm your biggest fan. Oh, you're always my big fans. Please, I have something that is bothering me. I have sent you countless of emails, but you don't respond. I pray you respond to this. Okay, I'm responding. I'm getting married very soon. I work and I earn up to 700,000. My boyfriend works and he earns slightly lesser than I do. He earns up to 500,000. He earns up to 500,000. We are getting married and he's wanting me to split everything 50-50. Blessing CEO, splitting the bill is not my problem. But, hold on. Blessing CEO, splitting the bill is not my problem. But I feel like I'm marrying myself because I'm practically buying everything I'm using for the wedding down to my wedding dress, my wedding shoes, I'm paying for the haul. I'm practically doing everything. The only thing I am not paying for is my bride price. It's as if I'm taking care of all the bills. To be very honest, the money is not a problem, but I feel very, very uncomfortable. I feel like I'm marrying myself. Do you think it's okay for me to pay the bills? Hold on. Do you think it's okay for me to pay the bills or allow my man pay the bills according to his capability blessing see you please my wedding is in two weeks i want to know what to do your opinion is very valid don't forget i love you i'm a big fan oh thank you very much for the love now <coughs> 50 50 in a relationship let's quickly drop the topic 50 50 bills in a relationship and marriage is it okay okay hmm. this topic will be loud 50 50 bills in a relationship and marriage is it okay <laughs> let me sit let me let me sip some marijuana margarita because <clears throat> this topic i need small highness to 50 <laughs> 50 what what do you say 50 50 what a lady said that she's getting married and she's any more than her boyfriend she's earning about 700 and something thousand the guy is earning about 500 and something thousand they're about to marry and she's practically buying everything she's using down to her wedding dress her flower she's paying cook so she's saying am i actually marrying myself or is this guy marrying me so she wants us to deliberate on the matter should i share this bill 50 50 am i marrying myself mother you're marrying yourself you're marrying yourself i've told you guys a couple of times if you're a beautiful woman and you're on this video i have told you a couple of times that there's a difference between a man and a boy some of you are dating and are marrying boys Why would you want to marry a woman when you don't have the capability of taking care of her within your capacity? I ask you again, why would you want to marry a woman when you don't have the capability to take care of her within your capacity? Women, how do you even get to orgasm when you pay your own bills? Do you come? How do you reach orgasm when you are paying your bills and you say you're in a relationship? How do you come? Me, I don't come. If I pay my bills, I'm not coming. I'm, I'm not even be in the mood. A man is supposed to come into your life and relieve you of some certain burden. When you are single, you do everything by yourself. 
The meaning of being single, the reason why all of us want to marry, the reason why we want to have boyfriend and girlfriend is for somebody to come and help relieve. When you are in a relationship and there is no relief, you are still sharing 50-50. My darling, come back to our WhatsApp group. You are single. You are single. You are single. If you are still doing everything you were doing when you were single, the only thing you are doing in your relationship is knocking. The only thing as a single girl that you are doing is knocking. You are single. A man is supposed to come into your life and relieve you within his capacity. Listen to my English. All you people that don't used to understand English. A man is supposed to come into your life and relieve you within his capacity. We did not say key yourself. We did not say go and be an autodola. We say within your capacity. Before you say you want to date a woman like Blessing CEO, you need to be prepared because you know that I'm on a certain level. I actually made a video where I said men date your class. They say her blessing don't come. You see a Messi Lambo. You see an Omotola. You see a Messi Johnson. Messi is actually married. We are the single beautiful lady. You see a... We are my beautiful ladies. You, you see a flamboyant baby oko. You don't know that a quadro a quadro. You don't know that to prepare. You like all the figures. You like all the package. You like all the ass. You like all the boobs. And you are not prepared. We're going to maintain so For you to drive Mercedes Benz, you could save money for maintenance. Nobody to buy them. Nanom to maintain them. Ima nanya Benz, ima njigo maintenance. That's why when you are coming up, when you want to first buy your car, you will first buy Toyota. And then as you are upgrading, you are moving to Benz. Um, Range Rover. Um, Any man that wants you to share bill 50-50 is not a man. He's a boy. When a man comes into your life, he's going to provide for you within his capacity. That's what men do. Nobody is saying be pressured. A man will provide for you within his capacity. He will not share no bills with you. Some people come and say, when you travel abroad, when you travel abroad, uh, the girl used to pay. Do you know why women want to pay their bills abroad? It's because they don't want to be indebted to you. Do you know why women want to pay their bills abroad? They don't want to be indebted to you. You don't know that the more you give a woman, the more she's indebted to you. Why do you think a lot of African women are indebted to men? It's because of what they have collected. The day a woman stops eating your money as a man is the day you can never... What, what can you give us? In fact, it is even the independence of women right now that is making marriage hard. Marriage was easy when a man can give you something and you're indebted. Now, we can give ourselves. So when you give a woman, you should be privileged. So that one that wants you to share 50-50 bill is because she doesn't want commitment. A woman who wants commitment will not share 50-50 bill with you. And a man who wants commitment will be very, very honored to pay the bills of his woman. Some of you are not dating. You are dating yourself. There is no way a man is going to be in a relationship with you. And allow you pay the bill. Nah, that would not be man. Nah, boy with manhood. So I'm a good jackal. I said what I said. Instead, he's going to take you to an affordable restaurant. Instead, he will take you to Mama Put and pay the 500 naira conveniently for you to eat. Instead, he will take you to Mr. Biggs and pay the 1,005 for you to eat. Instead, he will take you within his capacity. That's what men do. If you cannot afford a five star, he takes you to Mr. Biggs or Crunches. If you cannot afford, he takes you to a nice restaurant, but he's going to pay the bills. Stop dating boys. When you see some of these boys ranting, all those ones are small for children. When you meet a man, a man will be honored. In fact, a man's pride is to pay the bills and take care of his woman. That is a man's pride. A real man don't share bills. A real man pay bills. Now boys, they share bills. Four boys for that matter. How can you finish knocking me? Gilacham, nothing much come and do 50 50 50 50 50 50 50 
baby, I love you. What do you love exactly when you cannot pay ordinary bills? You know, sim, let's share 50 50. Is this a business investment? Did we do business? I make a 50 50. Is this a business transaction? Or oh, can pay bill? I'm your girl, I'm a woman. If you cannot pay my bills, you're not supposed to be in my life. Allow me to be paying it single until I see a man that can pay it. So, to the lady who sent this story, I think you're about to marry a boy. And let me tell you something, women. Do you know the disadvantage of paying all these bills you're paying? If you start to pay bills in a relationship, you are going to pay that bills all through the marriage. You know, when you young ladies are desperate, you're looking for a husband, you will do anything. Some woman will come and say, bless him, leave it. Leave it. I know you have money. Mrs. Independence, I know. I know you are working in the bank. You are any one million to me. Allow a man do his responsibility, madam. We know you have money. Miss independent. Your father is rich. So because you are dead, you, you will pay bills till you die. Ask a lot of women that were doing Miss independent now. He's my husband. He's my husband. Husband. See them now. They are complaining. You will pay rent. In fact, at some point, the man will leave the bill for you. Miss independent. I said... I still collect money for fuel till now. My man still recharge my DSTV till now. He still sends he still sends me money for car wash till now. They still send me recharge card till now. I don't used to pass that one. My man can be talking to me right now. I will be talking. I will cut the call. Call, baby, what happened? My airtime. My airtime finished. He said, eh, as we are talking, I've just gotten airtime. Pim 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 pim. The next thing, baby, please, now help me to subscribe my GSTV. It just expired. We can be talking now. I'll just say, oh, God. Baby, what happened? Fue just finished in my car. He said, oh, whole see you. I said, no, 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 no. I said, I'm sending you 20000 I'll go and fool your tank. They don't a big pass. When, when you meet a man, you become a baby as a woman. They don't do big girl for your man. When you meet your man, you are a humble. You, big girl for who, who am I? Down to bottle water, they still they buy for me. They're not big in my relationship. Oh. I'm a baby. Don't have anything. I'm broke. You are doing me independence. You go pay bill. You go die. One day my man asked me, baby, you say you don't have money. I said, don't have. You know this internet thing and the office. I'm paying my workers. And you know some investments. The investment I actually put my money inside. It's okay. I understand. I don't used to have money. When it comes to my man, I don't have money. I'm a broke ass. I want to do big girl for Ramu. But there is no big girl in my relationship. In fact, I'm a baby. I don't have. You are doing big girl. Miss independent. You go pay bill. You go tire. Show a man that you can pay bill. He will leave the bill for you. So men don't have sense. So just show them that you are Mrs. Independence. You know how to pay bill. You can pay Nepa bill. You can pay house bill. Bill, they will leave the bill for you. <laughs> it will now become your rest. Allow them to do their response. Mrs. Independence, I know you are desperate. Mrs. Independence, allow them to do their work. Your job is to be assisting, not to be providing. Mrs. Independence. I know say you want marriage. Marriage they shock you. I know say marriage you want be a shape this year. If you want to marry, join our dating sites. Allow a man be a man. All those things you are not doing. <sighs> Women, <clears throat> let me shock you. <clears throat> I want to give you a revelation. <clears throat> Can somebody say you? I want to get 20 you on the comment section. If I don't get 20 you, I'm not going to review this revelation. Can somebody say you? 20 you. Can somebody say you? 20 you. If I don't get you, one you, can somebody say you? Because I'm about to review a revelation. Can so all I'm waiting for is 20 yo. I did not ask you to give me 20,000. I said just give me 20 yo. If you want me to review this resolution, can somebody say yo? The Holy Spirit is moving. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. Yo, 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 yo. Let's go. Eh, eh. 
Tiggy Tiggy yo Tiggy Tiggy Have you seen how this musicians go to the studio and start to sing nonsense for us? See yo 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 Let's go Tiggy Tiggy yo Tiggy Tiggy yo Tiggy You're gonna mouth sound kuntelling to Hey Kuntelling to Hey hey Kuntelling to Okay We have the 20 you Now this is the revolution Come here, ladies, this revelation is for you. Men are givers by nature. A man was born to give. A man does not know how to keep anything. They are work, not to give. If a man is not giving you, he will be giving to somebody else. Your work as a woman is to collect and to keep. Men don't know how to keep anything. So, my sister, if you decide to be forming Mrs. Independence, independent woman, self made, self alliance, I know. Continue. You will pay bills. Huh? That's your independence saving will finish. Allow a man give you. To this poster. This is your man that says he wants to marry you and he's telling you to be 50 50. Postpone the wedding. Tell him you don't have money. Your life savings, they duped you. In fact, they scammed you from your life savings. If you had told your boyfriend that you had 5 million in your account, tell him that they have scammed you. <clears throat> you don't have 5 million again. Let's see if this man can take care of you if you're not working. Let him marry you according to his capability. I've told you men this thing before. When you meet a woman, and that's why I've told a lot of men, date your level. When you meet a woman, give her according to your capacity. Nobody say you should kill yourself. If you're earning 100,000, you can afford to give your girl 20,000 every month. Or 15,000 because... We are hoping that you might have other things you want to do with money, family, friends, rent. You can afford to give her 15000 Date a girl in the level of 15000 So that when you give her 15000 15000 will look like $1 million. Because if you give me 15000 I will throw it back at your face. It's called level. If a man gives me $1 million right now, that one millionaire he gave me, and you give your girl five thousand, might be one. That five thousand can be one million because that's her level. It's not forming. It's not pride. We've grown past it. There was a time a guy gave me two k. There was a time a guy gave me five k. There was a time a guy gave me ten k. And when he gives me ten k, I will love him for the rest of my life. A man can give me ten k now. I don't pass that level. That's why I said date your level. If you don't date your level, dating will be stressful. If you don't date women within your capacity, it will be stressful. Date women you can take care of conveniently. Date women that you give them this cup as birthday gifts and they are rolling around. You don't have to put yourself in a box. It's because people don't want to date your level. You always want to go and carry what is bigger than you. Tomorrow you come and start shouting, she be go digger, he go digger, hey go digger. Oh, no, no, no. Relationship is not that hard. But no, you don't have. And you want to date somebody who is already living beyond what you have. Did you hear what I said? You are a man. You don't have. And you want to date a girl that is living beyond what you have. That is rich. That's why you have turned to Yahoo boy. That's why you want to do ritual. But when you date a woman that is within your capacity, there will be no stress. Even if you give her 2,000 naira, she will appreciate it. If you want to marry, marry a girl within your capacity. Don't go and say you want to marry and be looking for who will be sharing bills for you 50-50. You're a boy. With this few point of mine, I hope I've been able to convince and not to confuse you that 50-50 bills in a relationship and marriage is aren't nonsense. If you're a man, provide for your family and take care of your woman within your capacity. 
if you cannot take care of your woman within your capacity, leave her in her father's house. Leave her to be single. Let her father be taking care of her or let she be taking care of herself until you have the capacity. Don't come and be stressing people's children. And to you desperate women that want to marry anybody just because you are looking for a husband, don't come and complain. Because you see all these same women that are shouting, blessing, <laughs> blessing, help your man. You are still the one that will come and say, blessing, you want to kill me with Bill. Because it is your complaint that is making us know what is happening in your home. We will not know that you are paying bill. It's because you came to complain to us. Or you are paying the bill and shut up, Nano. Or you are marrying a man that will pay bill for you, Nano. Desperation. You people are confused. You are confused. You are confusing your generation. I like a man do his work. His work is to provide. With this few point of mine, I hope I've been able to convince and not to confuse you. So if you have any question, you can go ahead and ask. And for everything I said, I said what I said. Wait, men, 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 wait. I'm not talking to men, in fact, boys. Because I don't think men are going to doubt me. Boys, are you actually expecting me to tell a woman to come and pay your bill? Wait, let's be honest now. To all these boys that are ranting on, wait, are you expecting me to tell a woman to come and pay your bills? No, 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 is that what you're expecting? No! It's a shame, it's a slap. Any woman that wants to pay your bills is a desperate woman. Any woman that wants to pay your bills is a woman that wants to control you. Have you ever seen where a woman is giving a man money? You could be like a house boy. The same way men want to control you when they give you money. It's the same way women want to control you when they give you money. Yes. <laughs> the same way men want to control you when they provide for you. It's the same way women want to control you when she provides for you. Yeah. So, if you want a woman to be providing for you as a man, you should be ready to sell your birthright just like the way Esau sold his birthright for a pot of porridge. If you want a woman to take up your responsibility and be providing, don't expect respect and submission. You've sold your bet right. Question, please. <clears throat> Next question, please. If we don't have any questions, I think I'll beg to take my leave. Margarita. So, I want to assume that my message was well passed. And um, if this video offended you in any way, be you a male, be you a female, I still want to use this avenue to apologize to you. I am going to offend you again and again and again. I hope my apologies are accepted. <sighs> mm, how do you assist or support your man without paying bills? Pray for him! Go on your knees and pray for him to go out and come back. Go on your knees and pray for God to give him opportunity. Go on your knees and pray for help. <laughs> The easiest way to support him is to pray for him, cook for him, wash your bakers, prepare for him, so that when he go out there and hustle, he's going to come back home to a good meal. He will eat after eating. You give him a very good bed, Matty. Give him, him sock. Yeah, yeah, small. You know? You get me? So that's the way to support your man without giving him money. Pray! Your work as a woman is to stay and be praying in the house. So that I say, okay, say, okay. now your work. If you're tired of praying, enter kitchen, cook. If you're tired of cooking, enter bathroom, bath. If you're tired of bathing, dress well, smell nice and wait for him. So that when he comes back home, you give him a nice meal to eat. When he's done eating, you prepare his water in the bathroom. When he's done in the bathroom, you know, you know now. I don't have to say everything. It's a worry now. Next question. <laughs> Next question, guys. I hope I answer that question. What the, what's the next question? Pray for me. Badura, fool me. 
pray I find my way. <laughs> Any other question? <laughs> okay. Uh, how do you deal with a man that does not support your business? Support is not by force. You cannot do any a man anything that does not want to support your business. If he does not want to support your business, leave him alone. <clears throat> What's the difference between supporting and sharing bills? <laughs> okay, this is a very interesting question. Now, when you support, it is willing. When you share, it is business. <laughs> when you share something, it's as if is the person's right when we are sharing something right now it's like okay this is your right this is my right and hey, we did business together sharing most times often occur during business <laughs> when we do business together we are sharing interest hey it's something that belongs to this person so you share it accordingly but support is willing when you are supporting somebody you are not sharing you are giving the person what you want to give you can even give the person more when you share something, you give the person what is due to them. 50-50. Uh -huh. But when you are supporting, you're not even doing, you might even give the person 90% because that's what you want to do from your heart. So support is willing. Sharing is as if it's your legal rights. We did business partnership. <laughs> that's the difference. So the, 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 differ the anger between that sharing is like, when a man tells you to share bill, it's as if we did business. <laughs> we did business. <laughs> But when you support your man, you willingly want to do it. And when you do things willingly, you are more happy. Do you understand? You are more, when you share bill with a man, trust me, the level of respect is lower. I they tell you, a woman who shares bill is a woman who does not want to be committed to a man. I have gone out with a man before and I paid my bills. Because I did not want him to come and say, eh, I, I didn't want to be indebted to him. When a woman loves you, she wants to eat your money. I'm telling you the honest truth. When a woman loves you, she wants to collect from you. I'm telling you the honest truth. <laughs> Apart from all these gold diggers, don't go and give someone that doesn't love you. But these girls eat your money and run away. <laughs> but trust me, it's so sweet to give when you love. Love comes with giving. So I hope I answered that question. That's the difference between sharing and support. Support is willing. So let a man allow you to do these things. Now, I would have preferred if this guy had said, Baby, this one we are wedding. I have two million naira for this wedding. This is what I can afford. Let's get an affordable wedding planner. Baby, you have to get an affordable wedding dress. You know, I don't have so much money. He will just tell the girl, I have two million naira. Let's work according to this two million naira. Then the girl will now say, Okay, baby, since you have two million naira, me, I have five million. Let me bring three million now and add to make it five million. Let's work with it. Eh, hey! That's what they do. That's support. Not to come and tell me you want to marry me. Now come and tell me, buy a wedding dress, buy your flower. Oga, 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 allow me to be single with dignity. Don't come and stress me. That's the difference between sharing and support. When you want to support, remember that for support to happen, the person is doing something. Help is different from support. When you are helping somebody, the person does not have anything. When you're supporting somebody, the person has something. They just need a push. Help simply means I want to drag you up. Support simply means I want to push you. You know English is hard. So let me break it down. So when you're helping somebody, you require a lot of strength. They can even pull you down, say, as you're trying to drag them up. Help. That's why to help people these days, they hard. Because a lot of people who are asking you for help, they want to drag you down to their level. But support is when you're on a movement. Me, I like to support people. If you're not doing anything, I cannot help you. I can never support you. It's sweet that when I see your journey, ah, this person is already moving. Then I just hold the person, just like you're jogging right now. I can hold you. And remember that when you are not moving and I'm running, I can push you down. Because I'm on motion. So sometimes, some people cannot help you because you are stagnant. So when they try to want you, go fall. So you have to start the movement first. That's why some of you are not successful to you today. Because you are just there. With, so some people cannot help you because you are still on the ground. And because many of us are already jogging. I cannot stop because of you to pick you up from the ground. No. That's why some rich people cannot help you. No matter how you beg because you are on the ground. And that's why everybody is pushing yourself to a particular level. Where if you meet Dangote jogging, you can jog and follow him. Good morning, sir. My name is Ikora Blessing Kiruka. 
popular known as Blessing CEO. So please, um, you have a job. You have a job in Dagote. I can help you spare spaghetti, tomato, salt, cement. I can, I have, I can help you with building project. I was that girl, not that girl that they said she stole house. I can help you with the building projects. So if you use me as a brand ambassador, it will sell you. Ha! I was that girl now. The one that used to build house. Nami! Dangote! I can do a lot with cement. I can build. Remember, we are the movement. We move. It makes it easy. But when you are standing in one place, it's hard. So that is what support. Support simply means you are moving. And I decided to take you along with me. Man, this jogging we are just doing now. You hear me like say, I need to start working out too. Just this small run, where I run now. Let me like say my chest won't come off of my heart. Anyway, we move. Mm. Any other question? Uh, okay guys. So I don't think we have any other question. I'm good to go, right? What if the couple that stays abroad where bills are high and share to help one another i've just said it before don't make me repeat myself now i don't like followers i don't listen i said if you have to support let it be willing did you not hear that point i'm not saying don't support your man or don't support. i said let it be willing no no hear what it's not the man's right willingly do it as a woman that's your job willingly so your husband should have ended what are you doing with your money if you cannot support your man? But my point is not his right. It's not your duty. Do you understand? It's just like now. Your parents are obliged to pay your school fees. But your uncles are not obliged. Your uncles can come and support your parents. But it's not your right to, for your uncle to pay your school fees. But it's your right to go and ask your mother, Mommy, Daddy, school fees? But you cannot go and say to your uncle. They will now do it willing. That's what a woman does. Willing. Now they hear English. You still twist the question and ask it again in a different way. Can't you guys just be smart for once? Must I answer you straight up? Hmm? I didn't say don't support your man. You know English is hard. I said don't share bills. If you must support, do it willingly. It should be something you want to do. Not him telling you as if it's his legal right. Mm -mm. You did not marry him to come and be sharing bills. You married him to support. So sharing is different from support. We do not do business. Neither is it ram or chicken. <clears throat> Somebody said, I thought when you love a man, you won't want to eat his money much. If you don't want to eat his money, that woman eats his money now. If you don't eat your man's money, well, well, who will eat the money? When you talk about eating your man's money, it's something that he's willing to give. Imagine my husband now is Dangote. I will now say, because I love Dangote, I don't want to drive G-Wagon. Or because I love Dangote, I don't want private jets. Are you mad? Dangote will be buying it for small, small girls. How can you, you not want to eat your man's money? People are funny. Who would I eat it? You don't have mouth. It's because many of you refuse to eat your man's money. That's why he have access to be giving side chick. When you eat your man's money, you will not even have access to be giving it's because some men <laughs> their girlfriends don't want to eat so side chicks have enough you will not even see the way i'll eat the man's money self side chick he will not even have anyone to keep to give side chick because he knows that ah <laughs> the one where i keep for us that glue tolu she they chop where where ha then yeah mm -hmm. don't eat his money because you love him continue what they love romeo and Juliet. is that right next question Want to eat your man's money? You know, people are tough. You know, they chop more and they liquid go go. I eat very well. So I think we're done with the question, guys. So guys, <laughs> I love you guys and thank you so very very much for coming on my live. I hope you enjoyed the live. I hope I was able to answer lots of your questions. Uh, <laughs> Alright, guys. See you guys and have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Good morning. It's morning already. <laughs>